September the 15th, 2020. Guys, you're looking at satellite images over the Gulf of Mexico right now, and uh, this is live at 1.23 p.m. Central. It looks like, and satellites are indicating it, that we now have a north turn. It may be a northeast turn. Just uh, pay attention to it, guys. We're going to look at the models, and they're indicating the same thing. I'm going to keep the video short, but uh, it's important. This is what I was watching for, and I said it would indicate where the storm would be more than likely to come ashore at. And that looks like Mobile Bay. Now, if the center comes into Mobile Bay, that's better than it going slightly to the left or to the east along the Mississippi and, and Alabama state line for Mobile Bay. Because if it did that on our state line here, guys, it's going to force all of that northeast quadrant up into Mobile Bay. It's already going to be bad enough. And so what's going to be the scenario if this works out is the storm will come into Mobile Bay as far as the center of circulation very close. So my friends in Orange Beach, in Gulf Shores, Perdido, there in Perdido Key, guys, over into Pensacola, that's uh, where I lost my old 76 Hunter 27 sailboat last year uh, during Michael or year before last. And so it did the same thing. It was supposed to come into Gulfport, Mississippi. You, we were there. You could see it off in the distance. The last minute, it turned a hard right. And uh, it uh, was one of the most devastating storms to come ashore. It was very rough. But anyway, so all my friends that have boats, and I don't really have many that don't because that's where we stayed in our boat on the water and things like that. All of you be very careful. You've got property on the water, things like that. Your boats, I'm sure most of you are probably already out of the harbor, maybe out behind the cove there, um, or up in the uh, upper bays and rivers. More than likely you are. But if you have boats that are tied up in the marinas, and uh, we were down around the south wind area, guys, from there back to the bridge, they um, make sure that it's uh, secured, and if you can put it on a trailer and get it out, if it's not too late, you might want to do that. But more than likely, most people are prepared. Uh, it's part of the uh, part of the game plan in the area. So I just wanted to point this out, that it does look to be turning north and back to the east. Now, it's being influenced by a high-pressure system that's above it and the system that's coming from the left out of the west. But the wobble definitely looks like back north and east mobile and guys this is, is telling you that by 8 p.m tonight this thing's going to be coming ashore along the mobile bay area you understand what i'm saying now everything's well out in front of it you saw from the earlier video the gulf shores uh beach cams they are coming ashore is an 85 mile per hour cat one hurricane check that out so it but the movement two miles an hour Winds at 80 miles an hour, again, barometric pressure, 982. But at 2 miles an hour, creeping through here, with that amount of rain and wind, is going to get very dangerous. Watch for water spouts and tornadoes in the northeast quadrant of this. Uh, it's going to give New Orleans and some of us in Mississippi, uh, central Mississippi, a break as far as direct impact. But the, the you saw how wide the storm is, so... Uh, it's already very windy here, and uh, it's light sprinkling. We had a hard rain a couple nights ago that we really needed, but uh, you can feel it in the air. It's much cooler. It feels great outside. It's a overcast, partly cloudy coming in and out, but it feels real nice outside. But things are changing, and so you can't let your guard down on that. And as always, it's a good idea to kind of look at your models because they're showing now, right here, both the Navy model and the Canadian model, right at the mouth of the Mississippi River, they're see, showing a turn north into the east towards Mobile. See this? But then it changes as if the high-pressure system is shifting, and at the last minute shifts it back into central Mississippi, again up through the Hattiesburg, Laurel, Meridian area. So we can't take that out of the uh, picture just yet, and that is on the outer cone that we just saw, well, the map we were looking at, at some inside that cone is where they project the center of circulation to be, and they try to average it. You have more models going along that 
path keeping it north and northeast. But the two most reliable ones are showing the curve we're seeing now back northeast. But it see it shows it change and come back. So my point is no one can let their guard down. Now this is in Gulf Shores, Alabama, the same place we saw this morning. You see the condos looking west back towards Mobile from this area. To the left or to the east would be from here. Uh, you've got Orange Beach, Perdido Bay, uh, Pensacola back going in that area. But it's, it's very agitated. You can see that uh, we may be dealing with some low tide here at this moment. I haven't checked the tide tables. Guys, but if depending on what area you're in along the coast, Anywhere from Panama City back to Mississippi, check your tide tables because of the storm surge. It's going to be the highest at that point. And so your low-lying roadways and things like that would be the time definitely not to travel. Now, let's, before I end this, let's look at uh, Bay St. Louis, Mississippi. This is kind of on the western side of the coast of Mississippi going towards the New Orleans area. And uh, the road is still underwater there. What I've noticed the difference is it's a little higher, and uh, the wind is buffeting uh, the camera quite a bit more than it was. And this is mounted on the roof of the Silver Slipper uh, restaurant and casino in Bay St. Louis, guys. Um, it looks like all the roadways to it now are closed. There's a car stopped right there because the road, as I pointed out this morning, comes down into the si Silver Slipper here. All of this is very low up anyway, but uh, that's what we're dealing with. The big difference, again, maybe a little more height in the water, but the wind has definitely picked up. We're watching it, guys. You watch it. It's a heads up. Be safe.